Elizabeth Perry, and my formal title, at the, I teach at the American School in London, and my formal title is Technology Integration Specialist, as well as faculty member. But as a faculty member, I also get to teach some courses, and one of them is a new course this year called Art and Code. I want the students to think about, think about coding in a different way, and I wanted to be sure that we incorporated some elements of physical computing in the program. Soon after I arrived in London um, two years ago, began hearing the name. Then I heard uh, Bethany speak at MozFest uh, um, over a year ago. And so I was looking, up, looking about for what would be the best um, physical, physical computing kits. And I knew I wanted my students to work with Arduino. So the fact that I find myself very well aligned with them in terms of educational philosophy, and so it was um, a natural to look at the Start Arduino kit as a, as a jumping off point for my students. And so one thing led to another um, conversations with both Kirstie and with Bethany, and um, they invited me to become an ambassador. Well, I think that I think that one of the things that is wonderful when you approach code and coding from different perspectives, especially when you create opportunities for students to collaborate, is that that allows different students from the students who you might ordinarily think of as keen on coding, it allows different students to discover that this is something that they love doing. And um, I think that until in recent years, um, coding and computer science have skewed in a very stereotypically male and boy way, and we've seen not as many girls pursue it. And I think that's a, to the detriment of the field, because I think that the more diverse um, mindsets and experiences are in any field, the stronger um, and more robust the innovation. And so I think we need all of these underrepresented voices. We don't, it's clear that we don't have enough people skilled in code um, to fill the available jobs right now. So we need to be sure that every child who has the potential, who might like to do this, has the chance to discover that she's really good at it. Real, real inventors prototype with Arduino. I mean, what you're building right now could have some application in the real world. And I think they were a little surprised by that and a little bit excited because I don't think it occurs to students that things that they build in classes as part of class assignments, no matter how much they like them, I don't think they always make that connection out into things in the real world. And I think Arduino, by its nature and by the community that supports and surrounds it, gives students that message again and again, and I think it's a very powerful one. Mm -hmm.